tume nani ne jamii ya redi maria kenya kisumu kamura mura maintire waro kikendo mashigni etelo mashilone uh, we welcome you our listener back to our program as we also welcome our visitors uh, who are with us now uh, you can also follow this discussion through our facebook page radio maria kenya kisumu I want to welcome our l- visitors to the studio as we begin uh, the discussion. I'll give them this opportunity to introduce themselves. Then later on, we can get into the discussion. Karibuni, you're most welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. God is good all, all the, the time. time. And all the time. God, God is good. good. We are society of Nirmala Dasi Prophet and we are very happy to be with you today in this session and we are grateful to Radio Maria team and the Bishop of Kisumu Right Reverend Bishop Maurice Mukhatia and for uh, inviting us for this session. Our name we have already mentioned Society of Nirmala Dasi Prophet. Nirmala means immaculate or holy, and Dasi means the servant, which means that being holy before the Lord and being servant before the people of God. So you are most welcome, and we request our dear sisters, uh, please let us uh, mention our names. Me, I'm Sister Grace from Kitangela. I'm the formator in Kenya, St. Joseph Region. Thank you very much, Sister Grace. Thank you. I'm Sister Joyce Motua from Ilmalandasi Sisters, wife serving people of God in Isuelo Diocese. I'm for vocation promoter. Thank you very much, Sister Joyce. I'm Sister Teresia Naliaka from Kitangela. A vocation promoter. Thank you very much, Sister Teresia. I'm Postland Philomena Ache from Mugunja Parish, but now in Kitengela. Karibu, Postland. Uh, Sante Nisana Karibuni. I'll welcome you, Sister, uh, as you begin the discussion of today. As we want to know more about uh, the society of uh, Nirmala Dasi. What does it mean? Uh, uh, Sister, you've already explained to us what is uh, Nirmala. Uh Nirmala, you've said that is immaculate. uh, Then also you have said that Dasi is a service. Uh So as we, uh, I'm welcoming you back again as we begin so that we can know more about it. History of our founder, Right Reverend Archbishop Joseph Fundukunam. He was born on 26th September 1917 in a village called Parapul in the Diocese of Trishul. His parents, Kurinyapan and Unicharu, were highly religious minded. He and two brothers and two sisters. Both the sisters joined the CMC congregation, that means Congregation of Mount Carmel. He earned his minor seminary formation in Tushul and his study of philosophy and theology at the St. Joseph Pontifical Seminary, Alupa. He was ordained as a priest on 20th December 1942 by Right Reverend Augustine Kadayil, the Archbishop of Enakuram. His deep prayer life, apostolic zeal, and compassion for the poor made him very dear to all people of the parishes wherever he served. In addition to that, he was a very popular and impressive preacher of the word of God so much so that he was often called for preaching retreats in the churches and giving talks 
in the various prayer centers of Kerala. After the retirement of Bishop George Alapat, Ma Joseph Kundukulam was appointed as, as his successor and Bishop of Trishul. His Episcopal consecration was on 16th August 1970. During his period of administration, there was enormous development for the diocese in the spiritual, social, and apostolic fields. He was respected by all regardless of caste, religion, and position. He had a very close association with the civil authorities and leaders of the society. Above all, he captured the minds of, of the people as a very powerful speaker of the word of God and as a, an ambassador of Christ's compassion, love, and mercy for the poor. He was popularly called father of the poor. He was named the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Trishul on 21st August 1995. He was gone to eternal rest on 26th April 1998 while he was on a visit his, to his daughter serving in Wamba, Kenya, and was buried in the ruins Metropolitan Cathedral, Trishul, on 29th April 1998. The spirituality of Archbishop Joseph Kundukulam may be, summa may be summarized in his own Episcopal motto, All for All. After the example of St. Paul, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 22. He made himself a holocaust of love and sacrifice for all, for God, for the people, for the poor and orphaned, for the sick and destitute, for the windows, children, and homeless, and for his own spiritual daughters, the Nilmala Darcy sisters. The most striking features of his holy personality are the following. Complete trust in God, union with God through prayer, fidelity to his priestly and consecrated life, a life for, for the poor, with the poor, and like the poor. Exceptional zeal, in preaching the word of God, commitment to the missionary call of the church to all the nations and peoples, a symbol and sweet way of dealing with others, is instance that his spiritual daughters, the Nilmalandasi sisters, should persevere in serving, by serving Jesus by serving the poorest of the poor, Matthew chapter 25, verse 34 to 14, in which he summarized the apostolic charism of the Society of Nilmala Darcy Sisters, which he founded. History of our co founder, Monsignor Joseph Villangaden. He was born on August 18, 1926, in the ancient Christian Villangaden family in Trivunitera, Kerala, South India. His parents were Ulahanam and Anama. They were very devout and faithful Christians. Father Joseph Vilangaden was the fourth born out of the fifth children. His two sisters became nuns in the congregation of Mount Carmel. After his secular education at Trivunitera and Trichur, he joined the minor seminary of the Archdiocese of Trichur. He had his study of philosophy and theology in Rome. He was ordained as a priest on December 7, 1954, by Archbishop Sig Sigismondi. 
After his priestly ordination, he continued his studies in canon law and obtained a doctorate from Rome. After returning to Kerala, he was appointed assistant vigor of the Lourdes Cathedral Treachery. He discharged the offices of Catechism Director, Solidarity Director, Promoter of Justice, Secretary of Bishop Alapat and Bishop Kundukulam. In 1970, when Bishop Kundukulam assumed in office as the Bishop of Treachery, Reverend Father Joseph Ilangaden was appointed as the Director of St. Christina's Home at the same time, he served as the counselor of the Archdiocese, a member of the administrative council, and consultant of Oriental churches. For a few years, he offered these services to the new diocese of Palakkad. In 1992, he conferred the honor of Monsignor. From 1971 to 1997, he served as the director of St. Christina's Home Pulari, St. Joseph's Age Home Pulari, Pope John Paul Peace Home and Ambalapuram, Home of Love Mulayam, St. Christina's Home Rehabilitation Center, Korinjarapura, etc. Residing at Mulayam Nirmala Bhava Novichet House from 1997 to 2000. He continued serving as the director of St. Christina's Home Rehabilitation Center. From 2001 to 2008, he was the director of the St. Joseph Age Home Pulari. In 1998, he was appointed as a member and judge of the Tribunal for the Canonization of St. Lucrecia. In the year 2008, Monsignor Villangarden retired from the official ministries and thereafter. He spent his time in the novitiate house Mulayam and Pope John Paul Peace Home Amalapuram. He was called to eternal rest on 9th October 2011 and was buried in the cemetery attached to the Nirmala Bhava novitiate house Mulayam. The following are the features standing out in the eminent and saintly personality of very reverend Father Joseph Ilangaden. He was a man of deep prayer, faith, personal holiness, and awareness of God. A man of wide life experience and great scholarship. A man of remarkable love and compassion for the poor and derelict. A man of discipline, punctuality, sense of responsibility, symbol living, hard working, the priest who completely trusts in God's providence and insistence on perfection in everything. The History of Society of Mumeladasi Sisters The Society of Mumeladasi Sisters, which is SMDS, is founded in the year 1971 in the Diocese of Trichu, Kerala, South India. Right Reverend Bishop Joseph Kundugulam, the Bishop of the Diocese of Trichu, being its founder, and Very Reverend Monsignor Joseph Vilangarden, its co-founder. The Founding Fathers, being inspired by the Spirit, blowing where it wills, wanted to give birth to a consecrated community dedicated solely to the service of those who are orphaned and destitute in the society. On 23rd November 1971, by the order number 1499, permission granted to start a pious association named as Mirmala Dasigal from the Bishop Office of Trichur, Kerala, India. This community with Mary the Immaculate, Mother and Virgin, for its model and partners, was begun with 14 members at St. Christina's Home Pullery, Trichur. 
The founding fathers themselves taught and trained the first members together with the PMC sisters to spend their li lives in poverty, simplicity, and obedience, being ready to be led in all matters by the words of Jesus, our Master. Whatever you did to the least of my brethren, you did it to me. Matthew 25, verse 40. They also wanted the first sisters to be infused with the gratitude towards Jesus, who, though he was rich, yet for our sake became poor, so that by his poverty we might become rich. Second Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. And the one who came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Matthew chapter 20, verse 28. This community chose Mother Mary Immaculate Conception as their heavenly partner. In 1980, Holy Father His Holiness John Paul II ratified the laws of this community and declared it as Society of Common Life. On 23rd November 2006, this society was raised to the status of major archiepiscopal congregation by the major archbishop of Ciro Malabar Wright. His beatitude was he cardinal with Ezil with the consent of the permanent synod. Currently, Nirmala Dasi sisters have 47 convents with the 264 sisters rendering charitable services in 18 dioceses in four countries. In the year 1983, the Society of Nirmala Dasi Sustes have exten extended our services to the northern parts of Kenya, especially to four dioceses of Masabi. It was by hearing the hard work done by the Sustes in the Kukatpalli, Hyderabad, North India, that Reverend Father Matthew Wadanjeri, SDB, who was working at court, visited the sisters at Kukatpalli along with his brother, Reverend Father Benedict. It was he who introduced our society to his provincial superior, Father Tony D'Souza, SDB, and to Bishop Ambrose Ravasi, the Bishop of Masabi. In the 80s, there was no priest or religious in the desert court. The people were mostly of Rentile and some, some were Samburu tribe. They were very simple and friendly, but they have no particular religion as their own. Their lifestyle is something like that of the Jews of the Old Testament. They were of nomadic type of following their cattle. There were no facilities of any kind. Court Desert was 600 kilometers away from Nairobi city. And for shopping, official matters, and for flighting journey, we had to reach up to Nairobi. Responding, the in responding to the invitation of Father Tony D'Souza, SDB, the Provincial Superior of Salations of Don Bosco, East Africa, and of Bishop Ambrose Ravasi, the Bishop of Masabi, we started our first mission in Kor on 17th April 1983 with the four sisters. We started our service in a dispensary, nursery, pastoral activities, and work with the women. Now the situation of Kor and the people are changed. They began to settle down in a small groups around the Catholic Church. Again, Bishop Ambrose Ravasi invited us to start another community in Wamba to take care of bedridden children and also to give service in Wamba Mission Hospital. We commenced our service in Wamba in the year 1987 with four sisters. At present, we are sheltering and caring for 40 bedridden children too. Observing our work at Wamba, Father Mario Cuscusa, the in charge of Garamara Mission, invited us through Bishop Silas S. Giru, Bishop of Meru, 
to work in Garamara Mission for the physically challenged children and to run a dispensary. In 1992, we started our mission there, and at the present, we are serving 30 physically challenged children and about 100 primary students in the hostel. Father Vincent, a consolata missionary, introduced in St. Mary's Village a home for the elderly woman run by consolata missionaries and managed by some lay African volunteers. They expressed their desire to relocate the management to our society. We wrote our wish to serve in St. Mary's Village to Father Francis Viotto IMC, the regional superior of Consolata Fathers, and very willingly he invited and entrusted us at the home on 2nd February 2001. With the three sisters, we started our work there, and now we are serving 40 elderly ladies. On 2nd February 2005, with the permission from Bishop Peter Kihara, the Bishop of Muranga, we started our novitiate formation in Sagana in a rented house owned by Consolata Fathers. In the beginning, there was one novice and two poor students with their mistress stayed there. Again, Bishop Ambrose Ravasi invited our society, society to Masabit to start a home for the physically challenged children called Fatima Home and to run a dispensary there. In all these centers, we are engaged with the pastoral activities like the catechism, preparing the faithful for mass, attending small Christian communities, faith formation, etc. Currently, we have 30 physically challenged children. All our service centers are situated in very interior and semi-arid places, except to Sagana. When we come to Nairobi city for shopping, six, 600 kilometers away from the center, and official matters like a renewal of work permit, foreign ID registration, etc., and coming and going after leave, we can't return to the commu community on the same day. Since staying in a lodge is too expensive, our sisters always depend on Salation fathers. This situation enforced our sisters to look for a house of our own near Nairobi city. It was too late then and we could not find a place near Nairobi because of the high price of the land. Anyhow, we managed to buy a land of 1.8 hectares in Gong Diocese, 28 kilometers away from the airport. Now, with the help of the Almighty, and with the help of well-wishers, we managed to build a two-story building. The ground floor for the home is reserved for the elderly and the differently abled ladies, and the first floor for the convent. A long-cherished dream was realized on 6 June 2011, when the house called Bethsaida, home for the aged and disabled, was blessed and inaugurated by His Eminence John Cardinal Jue. In the year 2015, again we started a rehabilitation special school for the mentally and physically challenged children within the Diocese of Isiolo for 30 children. Within the compound, we established our own novitiate formation house too. In the year 2021, we are invited by the Bishop of Kisumu, His Lordship Philip Agnolo, to serve our elderly priests in the clergy house, and we started our service on 10th August 2021. We are grateful to the Almighty Father for His goodness to us. Thank you very much, uh, Sister Grace. Uh, that was the history of society of uh, uh, Nirmala Dasi, uh, which was read by Sister Teresia, Sister Joyce, Sister Grace. Uh, I think we shall take a short commercial break, but when we come back, we'll continue uh, 
uh, with more of discussion or more of the history then later on we'll receive or we'll take few questions through our mobile number which is 0792690036 or you can also send your sms through our sms lam- number 0740671428 Awo krale au parish esa paris marnyaera asebe do kawinjo wach ma radio maria ko lo regi weche mo sebe do kagi kelo ponjo maber marje waganda mag jo christus onego nyasae medigiteko to goganda duto te ma winjo ponjo makare magi ponjo mondo migi dhi nyime magi nyalo tiyo ne godo nyasae nikech wach gini osemiyo koda joma ne ok nyal tero rosary tinde tero nikech puonj makare nyasai mondo med jiwogi omed tiegogi mondo gimed telo ne jo kristus e yalo wach nyasai kagelande piny mangima omed uruge rod mama kawajiure lemo kendo mer kwayo nwa kumude yesus en wa mesire kilemo ka achiel koda fedha nikeche koro wakwayo ni ju duto mondo ji od mama kawa ikulu matin matin mondo wajiwgi go nikech gin bende gijiwo wa iye marwa wayudo lokruok maduong e lemo wa kwa riw record gero sari mar sari yo tieno miyo kwae wa gigomba wa adwa her no tingre malo wa chiwo kum chiwo mo chiwo mondo amed tego maria mondo nyinyi nyasayo landre kendo nyinyi nyasayo yududuo minwa kikikudu wiwa kakisaya no radio maria bed jakony makare kendo mondi teg chunywa de radio mario se konya yore mangeny asebedo gi samora nyalo ga bedo gi chuny modolre to ne ok anyal ga nindo gotieno to tinde radio mario miyo aneno kata nyaka pinyru wale mosari yo watero lozari sauchiel wale mo watero lozari ayo wachako puonjore ochopo sauchiko watero divine mercy Koro Radio Maria aneno kose konyo ose konya yore mangeny aneno ka chunya okwe kenda duoko ni nyasaero kama no mondo med jiwo joma tie Radio Maria oti gi chuny makare Mimi ni askofu Joseph Mongela, askofu wa Jimbo la Kitui na mwenyekiti wa kitengo cha baraza la maaskofu cha Pastro and Lay Apostolate. Na waalika nyote kwa siku yetu ya maombi ya kitaifa National Prayer Day kule Subukia tarehe tano mwezi wa kumi mwaka huu ambapo pia tunasherekea miaka hamsini ya njumuia ndogo ndogo katika huku Afrika ya Mashariki ile tunaita Amesea region tutakuwa tumejumuika ile tuweze kusherekea kwa pamoja na walika nyote tuweze kuja na kuomba kwa pamoja tukiangalia nyuma vile tumeendelea kama kanisa na jumuiya ndogo ndogo tuweze kuomba kwa sababu nchi yetu kwa ulimwengu mzima ili tuweze kuendelea kwa amani kiini cha mwaka huu ni kutembea pamoja kwa uadilifu kama familia ya wana wa Mungu tuweze kutembea kwa pamoja tuweze kushirikiana na kuombeana na kujadiliana tukitembea kuwa adilifu kama wana wa Mungu. Tuombe amani, tuombe nchi yetu, watu wote tuje kwa pamoja, tuombe kwa pamoja na tuzidi kuombea nchi yetu ili tuwe na amani, tuwe na utulifu, tuwe na haki kama vile Mungu ambavyo ametuita. Na wakaribisha nyote dujeke mikononi mwake Mama Maria mbaya kuna yote alimuomba na akaachwa bila kunjibiwa. Tunawakaribisha sisi wote tuweze kuja kwa pamoja na pia tukiwa chini ya ulinzi wake Mama Maria ambaye alikuwepo katika ndoa ya Kena na akaona kile kilichopungua ili angalia katika familia zetu katika inji zetu na popote pale tulipo na kile kilicho na upungupu atuombee kwa mwanawe Yesu Kristu 
ili tuweze kuishi maisha ambayo ni yale Mungu alitumbia kwa kuishi kwa umoja tukitembea pamoja kama wana wa Mungu ambao wametuumba ili tuishi hapa duniani tumpende tumtumikie tupendane na mwishowe tuweze kuishi naye milele na kwa hayo yote katika hii siku yetu ya maombi sasa ni zamu ya eh, Metropolitan ya Mombasa ambapo ni jimbo kula Mombasa Malindi ongoza lakini sisi wote tumekaribishwa ili tuweze kunjumuika kwa pamoja tusherekee hii siku kubwa katika maisha yetu Mungu awabariki
karibu tena. Welcome back our listener uh, plus our guest. How are you feeling? How are you? Yeah. We are fine. <laughs> <laughs> we are very fine. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for giving us the history of the society of uh, Nirmala Dasi. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to take a few questions, especially from me. Then later on, we'll take a few questions from our listener plus our viewers. In case they have questions, they can use our mobile number or our SMS number. Uh -huh. uh, my question uh, Who is your patron saint? Is our pattern saint the Mother Mary Immaculate? Mother Mary Immaculate. When we talk about the name Nirmala Dasi, uh, it is driven from which language? It is driven from language called Malayalam, mm -hmm. the, the language of Kerala, South India, mm -hmm. Kerala state. Mm -hmm. uh, you explain to us that uh, Nirmala is immaculate, the Nadasi is service. Yes. Can you elaborate more on that? Okay, which means that uh, Nirmala means holy or immaculate. Mm -hmm. Which means that before the Lord we become holy, mm -hmm. as Nirmala Dasi says, and be like a servant to the people of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, there's also that part you've talked about. Uh, it was about the part that you've talked about uh, uh, some of the services that you are rendering, especially you mentioned something like dispensary, nursery, uh, patrol activity, and work with women. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the impact that uh, the, you've given, um, some of the impact that you get from the society about the services that you're rendering? Of course, people are very happy with our services, usually people come and we sit and uh, uh, see and uh, console them too. It's kind of, you know, uh, when we live serving the people, those who are in needy, like physically challenged children, mentally challenged children, and uh, completely bedridden children, and uh, disabled, elderly. Those people we have found when he came to Kenya that these disabled children are tied up and they live with the animals and they go for their work. What do you mean by tied up? They were tied up with the kamba or something. You know, they are being hidden away. Yes, yeah, uh -huh. because some of the society, some of the c community believes it's a curse. Uh -huh. their, their birth is a curse. Uh -huh. Some people, for them, it's, no, it's a shameful to see the people uh, this this child and they hide inside the, the house mm -hmm. and uh, people never know this child. So when we go for the visiting uh, around our villages, we have found such kind of children that is why we came up with the, this idea that we have to keep and uh, serve these children so that they may be also count as our uh, as ourselves because every life is very important a gift from the Lord. Mm -hmm. So how do you find, uh, how do you source or look for the vulnerable within the community? Like, do you have a number that one can reach you in case there is that uh, vulnerable child that is being hidden away or being mistreated? Yeah, because in, in nomadic areas and Masabit, Isiolo, those areas that we started our service first, where we have found such kind of children and we took them. And we educated them. You know, physically challenged children, they might have the, the capacity to learn. Mm -hmm. And some of the good talents they have, they already, maybe they are tied up. And when we have given physiotherapy and uh, corrective surgeries with uh, uh, assistive devices, they can be walk nicely. So those who are running even after physiotherapy, they are walking like us. They are running even with the artificial limb. So they are able to go for the normal school mm -hmm. like us. And they are behaving very well. They are doing very well. And their parents also amazed by seeing this. So that is our service that we usually do in those uh, houses in Fatima home and uh, uh, Garamala Alakara home. And we have another home in uh, Isiolo, uh, within Narakara, but at that location, mentally challenged children. They are also blessed 
we cannot discriminate any human being because of the disability of lack of uh, capacity they have also something great mm -hmm. so we appreciate that and because we value the life of the human being with the soul and dignity mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And I want to talk a bit with Sister Teresia. Sister Teresia, how do you uh, how do you get information that uh, there's a child who needs your help within the community? In case there's a child who is being mistreated, do you send people uh, within the village and within the community to look for these children, or how did how do you get this information? Okay, thank you, Diana. For this case, most of the times. When we do our pastoral mm -hmm. work, that is the time we meet the, those children mm -hmm. and that is the time we interact with them to know why and how we can help them. Mm. Mm. And uh, how about, uh, let's talk about the services that you render especially to the women because when you talked about the services, there is that dispensary and uh, there is also uh, work with the women. What are some of the work that you work with the women? Yes, uh, Sister Joyce. Yes, thank you, Diana. In this work, it is like we see how we can brought them up because after being held odd, the family, it is like they abandon them and they leave them without taking care of them. And then that time, it is the time that they express their wish to for us to be with these children, but with that, with that we also educate the family mm -hmm. so that they may be able to accept their parents, like mothers, to, to be with them at home. And if we enable the woman is too very poor in the family, cannot be able to be left alone, mm -hmm. we take that, that woman or that old lady to our homes. And that is how we have in senders like in Sangana and in Bethsaida home. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have these services within uh, Archdiocese of Kisumu? No, at the present we don't have. Mm, what is your, do you, do you, uh, uh, what is the expectation on that? If we are given a chance. So the chance is not there? Yeah. Chance <laughs> is there. <laughs> But for a moment, we have a client house that we are taking care of our priest, to are handling. Mm -hmm. But in course of the time, maybe we can think about it. Okay, we hope so. Uh -huh. Then we also want to, another question before, in case our listener do have a question, you can uh, send your SMS or you can reach me through our mobile number. Another question that I would like to ask, uh, uh, what are some of the feedback that you get from the society, especially to, you say that you render sometimes you train uh, the family on how to take care of these children. Uh, what are some of the changes that you have recorded from the society? Actually, from the far, the beginning, the children, they were not accepted in the family because the, the family or the religion, they were believed that is the caste. But after mm. the time and we educated and we shown that that child has a capacity to live as a human like other human being, a normal child, and to attend the school, they saw that uh, they changed and then they were accepting back to the family. And now those senders we have said like Masambit Fatima Home, Alakala Fatima Home mm -hmm. and uh, Providence, that children now they are able to go back to the family during the school holidays. And they are the parents. They are very happy, and they are accepting them like other children. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm, sorry. Uh, another question uh, that I would uh, like to ask. I think we have one question from a listener. Uh, thanks, Radio Maria, for hosting sisters and guests today. We thank them for their apostolate work for helping humanity. Apart from apart from where they are based today. Do they have plans to expand their service in other region? This is a message from John Alois from St. Francis Assisi, Parish Rio. Yes, of course. We are ready to expand and we are looking at other countries also in Africa. We wish to go uh, as we grow. Mm -hmm. 
and those who are inviting we are feel free to invite us we are ready you're ready <laughs> you start with the kisumu the yeah. archdiocese of kisumu <laughs> <laughs> okay, another question that I would like to ask. In case uh, there's a young lady who will wish to join uh, uh, your congregation, what are some of the qualifications that you, uh, you're looking for? Of course, they, they're supposed to complete Form 4. They should be a Catholic. Uh, and uh, they might uh, have uh, some, you know, they might known by the parish wherever they are coming from mm -hmm. so those are the qualification then the rest when they come to for experiences to our society that we shall see after that so do you do training to them yes we, we do training for them mm -hmm. yeah Oops. so those who are coming to see for command C they are coming after form 4 mm -hmm. they are coming and if they wish with our uh, daily activities they are coming back mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. in addition to that the grade should be C plus and above or we can accept in D plus with uh, any any course or with the concern with that, we can see how we can help that girl so that she may be able to serve God if it is a call. A call. What about non-Catholics? And uh, they do wish to join. Unless they undergo the formation as a Catholic. Mm -hmm. they, have they can receive all the sacraments. There is no problem still we can mm -hmm. accept them. Mm -hmm. And also... We are providing for them one year catechist course and it is must mm -hmm. in our congregation. So, post studency we have two years. The first year we send them for the catechist course in Bithini for one year. Mm -hmm. Then, the next year we shall continue the formation. Okay. Okay. I will take few questions. 0792690036 or you can also send your SMS uh, through your SMS line 0740671428. Ready Maria Hello, Hello Ready Maria Kenya Kisumu. Donja Christus Eodi. My name is Philip Margaret from Vero Parish Kirind. Phil, welcome Philip Margaret. Pass my greetings to our beautiful sisters. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay, my question is. Yes. I'm a very simple one. When are you planning to come to Rero? I am inviting you to come to Rero. We have many young girls who are willing to join a, a sister's congregation. Mm -hmm. When are you planning to come? That's only my question, but some of them you have answered. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alec, and have a good day. Thank you, Philip Margaret. <laughs> I'm grazing my livestock along the river. Thank you. <laughs> Thank we you. We come to you very soon. Mm -hmm. Very soon. <laughs> huh? Very soon, Philip Margaret. Huh? Uh, that is message from uh, Sister Grace. Very soon we shall visit Reru Parish. Uh, Philip Margaret, you just say that you're most welcome. He's inviting you. I'm not sure Kama, if we, uh, he's the right person to invite you, uh, but uh, he's inviting you. Uh, thank you very much. Another, another question, in case we have a question from our listener, we'll take questions. Uh, then uh, let me check uh, from our Facebook page in case we have any question there. Uh -huh, there is no question there. Sister, uh, Sister Grace, uh, yes. there was uh, some part that were remaining that you were supposed to explain to us. Yes. I welcome you to continue with it. Okay. Thank you, Diana. Uh, the motto is our society is, Yes, Lord, here I am. That was the, the spirit of our Mother Mary Immaculate, who was always ready to, to the God's will to be done. Mm -hmm. So that is the motto of our society as the Nirmala Dasi sisters. So, um, uh, to the society, to the poor, to the sick and the destitute, with any discrimination of caste, creed and language or religion, we are ready to serve them as like 
Mother Mary of Immaculate, we are trying to follow her footsteps. Mm -hmm. And our charism is to live a life of prayer, simplicity, hard work, in order to dedicate and make oneself available to God and to serve the most vulnerable and forsaken members of the society through the triple promise of obedience, chastity and poverty in the community life. So these are our charism and our spirituality we adopted Ora et Labora is the practice of Saint Benedict which is which means is a pray and work together and we adopt the simplicity of the Francis of Assisi and the spirit of Mother Mary of Immaculate yes Lord here I am will be leading our society and all the members in the society daily life and our vision the attitude of life, how to transform our sisters to live a life based on the gospel beatitudes, witnessing that this is the only way to blessedness. When we are poor, afflicted, meek, hungry for justice, merciful, pure of heart, peacemakers, persecuted and insulted for the sake of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Sister Grace, pardon me, let me take uh, a call. Yes. Radio Maria Lowe? Radio Maria. Yes. Yes. Ni am an Ginyati, a disturber. Maybe? A disturber. Mm hmm. But I'm not a doga, but I'm not a school more Catholic. Mm hmm. So the hair mondo or joy and joggy mondo so kuma Catholic in it here. Mm hmm. What is he? Mm-hmm. Eh, I'm not in my salary. 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 i Monda you do call you call sisters Matiri studio kai. Monda joy nge. Okay. Eh, hani Elizabeth ka a a kala sa Paris. Eh, roka man Elizabeth. Elizabeth is asking this. She has a a, a daughter. I'm not sure if a daughter. She has a child who is disabled. Who is 17 years old. Uh, who is a Catholic who also received, but the child is not in Catholic school, but she wished the child to join you. What is the way forward? Okay. Um, the If the child is disabled and 17, mm -hmm. you know, the time of school is already over. Mm -hmm. The person who what do you mean by the time of the school is almost over? I mean, is seventeen years. You know that the school uh, school formation for the um, disabled children where we are keeping, mm -hmm. they are six to fifteen years mm -hmm. or sixteen years. Mm -hmm. So those who are eighteen and above, we keep in another home. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. I don't know whether she is want to join as a student mm -hmm. or to become a sister. Mm -hmm. So to become you a can uh, you can explain both. So if uh, the child want to become a student or a sister, you can just explain. If the person who wanted to be helped by sisters with uh, with any assistive de devices or whatever, she supposed to go to this. Um, but we have mentioned Divine Providence Rehabilitation Special School mm -hmm. or um, Fatima, Fatima Children's Home. But only one year is remaining for her. So I don't think that it, it may work. Because to, be eight, to become 18 years old, there is only one year is remaining for that girl, mm -hmm. isn't it? So 
maybe she can join to but say that home for the aged and disabled we have mm -hmm. if she wanted to be assisted by sisters where is that located in Bethlehem in in Kitangela in Kitangela in Nairobi Koromboi yeah mm -hmm. so we shall give the number mm -hmm. uh, to communicate with the sister in charge uh, is there uh, I'll ask her Postulate, you can explain it to the language that you can also understand, especially to the to our caller we just called. Okay. Well, uh, give my sister watch in here. Na nyatino, and you watch that in seventeen years. Mhm. Tia na tina school midwa no diye kwa ngiyo nini higi ni moro beninga to some and nyaka eighteen years. Mhm. Kasto koro kwa church no or join 17 tende ni nya nya bedo ni iketosa. Koro sister wacho ni ya wantie record institute mantie re kitengela mm -hmm. bedside home. Mantie code disable code joma joma ik gionian. Mm -hmm. Koro code waron nyatine no nyaro nyatini nyalo join uh, kitengela. O mondo sisters nyaro itekaka wari to jomo join code joma disable mantie kanyo. Lakini kodi kuro oko join kaka ni ni kaka student mm -hmm. lakini kaka chel kom joma gin disable iri to gerito lakini ogi som mm -hmm. mm. kuro ngi som mora mora ma gitim trainer mora ma ngibro chini en mara ni ginya lo ni ni kaka twango kaka twango kofia tailoring eh eh ni twango kofia scarf ni kama tindo tindo kama no eh kata bid swag kuro ma ngi lo konyogi eh mane ma nyalo konyogi okay thank you very much Yes, yes, yes. You can contact with the zero seven zero three zero seven zero three one 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 six three six three eight seven eight seven number of Bethesda home. Sister Alfonso will pick it. You can repeat the number zero seven zero three one one six three eight seven. Thank you very much. The number is the number no n no no abirio. No, no, a dick, a shell, a shell, a shell, a dick, a boro, a burial. The Elizabeth number can you look on it? Can you look on number no? Mondo it should record the sister, Mabiro Koji, Katabiro Menu, me, a bit of me, Lera, a we watch my interior godo. In case we have another question, you can reach us through our call number 0792690036, or you can send your SMS through our SMS line 0740671428. Our sisters continue, Sister Grace. Okay. So our mission is the prime insight into our mission is the words of Jesus in Matthew chapter 25 verse 40. Just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. By leaving out this word of God may lead us to see Jesus in, in those who are suffering, especially to the sinners with the forgiving love, accepting them and leading them to Jesus, to the sick, healing ministry, rendering loving care, and to the poor, living among them and being like them, encouraging empathy through mutual sharing of their worries and sorrows. This is our mission as a society of Numeladasi sisters. Mm -hmm. And uh, the apostolates in India, Hungary, Germany, and Africa that we are providing service for unwed mothers and their children, leprosy, leprosy rehabilitation centers, care and training for mentally and physically challenged children, home for the elderly and the disabled, de addiction centers, care for persons living with HIV AIDS, mentally ill people, serving among slum dwellers, and bedridden patients, and parish ministries, and healing ministries through the health facilities. Mm -hmm. 
So, so before you finish, in case we have someone within the Archdiocese of Kisumu who needs your assistance or want the child to join learning and to be taken care of holistically, uh, what is the way forward for this child? Uh, like for example, you have been talking about some of the uh, some of the services that you are rendering, and most of the services are not within the Archdiocese of Kisumu. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Currently, we have those uh, nearby is Kitangela. Mm -hmm. So either you can contact with Sister Alfonso, who is serving in uh, priest home, or you can contact the same number that I have given to you. Mm -hmm. Or those who wanted to go into Sagana, they are also feel welcomed mm -hmm. to Sagana. Uh, there is a there is a website for us. When you write Society of Nirmala Dasi Sisters, www.Society of Nirmala Dasi Sisters will be our website. There you may find more clarification and uh, more explanation. Mm -hmm. I want to take you back a little bit uh, yes. in the part that you've talked about in the year 2021. Mm -hmm. We were invited by Bishop of Kisumu, Right Reverend Philip Anyolo, mm -hmm. to serve as elderly priests yes. in the clergy house Milimani. Mm -hmm. And we started our service on 10th August 2021. Uh, why is it uh, in other, like for example, the uh, the services that you are rendering, like especially you've told us that there's dispensary, uh, there's also that uh, a nursery, there's also uh, you work with women. Uh, like what uh, what should the uh, Christian from Kis Archdiocese of Kisumu expect that these services will reach this side? At the present, we did not get this proper uh, place to establish our house here. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we invite all the faithful, those who are waiting for our services, they may invite us and we may come and see and establish our service centers here too. In Kisumu, we are very happy for that. Mm -hmm. uh, another question, as we wait for the you to establish houses within uh, the Archdiocese of Kisumu, what are some of the services that you can offer uh, the Christians within the Archdiocese of Kisumu? Usually we establish our houses when we go to the particular place, the needs of the people, what is there, they are, they are in need of. Mm -hmm. uh, which, which is uh, depend upon our charism. Mm -hmm. If it is allows, we can do it. For the hospitals and uh, school, is not in our charism. I mean the normal school, colleges, this and that is not in our charism. Mm -hmm. Our charism to serve those who are most poorest of the poor, those who cannot do anything uh, their own for themselves. Which like uh, destitute people, those who are uh, in the street, I mean uh, most of the people, the, they, they came to us, somebody brought to us because they were wandering here and there in the in the in the uh, in the cities in the Nairobi, so some brought by the police, some brought by the social workers. Mm -hmm. So these from are Kisumu? yeah, mm -hmm. not pro from Kisumu. Mm -hmm. From Kisumu, we don't have anybody because we are just started 2021 here in Kisumu. Mm -hmm. So, but we would like to come to Kisumu, and we have to see the place. I mean, those who are offering, you know. Um, we are just waiting and you know God will work through a person if it is needed. Amen. Somebody will come mm -hmm. and ask us, mm -hmm. please sister, please come. This is the place, please start your service here after hearing us. Mm -hmm. So we are ready to expand our services to anywhere those who are in need. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I think we have, uh, we we'll finish in case of anything. Yes, case of anything? Sorry? No, so we are done for today. Yeah, so yeah. the bishop. The bishop how to, so you know, the bishop also how to uh, accept us mm -hmm. according to our charism and uh, society. So it is very important to establish a convent somewhere with the permission of the bishop. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, we are hopeful. Asante ni sana. We'll take your last word. I'll start with... Uh, 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 Sister Grace, yes. 
your last message to our listener and our viewers okay my last message is only this we are all created by god with his own image whether we are rich whether we are poor whether we are disabled whether we are sick whether we are uh, destitute we are all the image of god i am created with strong hand to help those who doesn't have the hand i am created with the eyes to see the pain and the need of the brethren those who are around me i am created with the heart to open to everybody without color race and language whatever and we are all invited by the lord as we heard whatever you did to the least of my brethren you do to me so for us is very important that message because mm. every human being those who are suffering there is jesus so let us be able to as a catholic as a christian who is following christ may see in everybody in every situation in in every suffering let us be able to see jesus and his presence and his intervenes so that we may be follow his footstep and glorify his name throughout our life amen and thank you so much for radio maria and the the right reverend bishop maurice muhatia the kisumu diocese and father shedrak who is in charge of this radio maria and your team all of you thank you so much for welcoming us and we are very happy and uh, i think that uh, that we we shared we shared what god will what god is wishing from us mm-hmm. thank you so much may god bless you all karibu tena asante <laughs> <laughs> yes yes sister yes i take this opportunity to say thank you so much for this wonderful and great moment and also i will invite all those who wish to join our congregation especially from archdiocese of kisumu those girls those who think that they are called in a special way to serve the people like the, the way we have said in our society we are serving they are most welcome and they can reach us in all the parts of the where we are serving and we can direct them the way forward so we say thank you thank you so much ndokamano I'm teaching you Kiswahili and Bolu. Uh, At least you know Erokamano. Sure. Uh, Erokamano ni. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you very much for this moment that you have allowed us to be here. We are so grateful for sure. For those who have invited us, we are ready since you are servant. We are ready to serve and also to come there. as soon as possible we are ready okay thank you very much and mm-hmm. most welcome mm-hmm. asante yes and dair go erokamano kom radio maria alafu gima dair wacho na nyiminena mondo gibi mondo wariwere kanyakla chiel nitio ni yesu joma dair gombo mondo bi join u sister Ah, uh, when you to the record number my sister no chiwo chande. Kaso ntire aparo ntire jomo ko winjo gi my sister wacho. Mm-hmm. Maybe jomo ko winjo doluo. Jomo ya uh, sorry jo, eh, jomo ko winjo doluo. Mm. Iwa choni ya sister no chonu kaka teach mo timo eh, one called utethiet. Ah. Wanu wacho gani ya? Wathie do lakini nyasaema e machango. Mhm. Aya. Alafu anti wari to ko nyetendo ma wigi. Ah, wanya wacho njo ma wigi wito kata jo ma wigi raj. Uh, kasto kod joma okinyal mm jomongol kasto antie kod nyaka kod uh, joma ikegioni ya kana jomo cha mochumbi mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, alafu daher luongo mondo waere uru kanya kala chiel wate my tioner wot nyasai kiki bed gi luoro maybe katani do great martin uh, kanya say nyasai yesu maluongoji okdane maluongoji kanya kadiera yesu moluongi to be mondi ne giwangi mm-hmm. kata ni grade machalnadi te mondi go chine sister mondo oneka on, kyo nyalo to record eh? 
Era oro kamano nyasa ya mondo medigwe dhu jowinjo. Mm -hmm. Asante ni sana era oro kamano. Uh, thank you very much uh, Sister Teresia, Sister Joyce, Sister Grace and uh, uh, Postlet. Naipata sinyo? Postland. 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 Uh, Santeni sana mwena siku njema. Tukutane siku ingini, sivyo? Asante. 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 Asante.